Navian tankless water heaters are highly efficient units that heat water on demand. However, they can experience ignition failures that prevent proper operation. Ignition failure means the unit cannot light the burner to heat water. This is typically indicated by error codes displayed on the unit's control panel. Understanding the key components involved in ignition is crucial for diagnosing problems. Let's examine the four main components that work together to create and maintain the flame. The igniter creates the electrical spark needed to light the gas. This component generates a high voltage spark that ignites the gas-air mixture in the combustion chamber. The flame sensor, also called a flame rod, detects whether a stable flame is present. If it doesn't sense a flame, it signals the system to shut off the gas supply for safety. The gas valve assembly controls the flow of gas to the burner. It opens to allow gas flow when ignition is needed and closes for safety when problems are detected. The flow sensor monitors water flow through the unit. It signals when hot water is needed, triggering the ignition sequence to begin heating. Regular maintenance is essential to prevent ignition failures and extend your unit's lifespan. Annual descaling removes mineral buildup, while cleaning filters ensures proper airflow and water flow. Understanding these components and maintaining them properly will help prevent ignition failures and keep your Navin tankless water heater operating efficiently for years to come. Now we'll walk through the systematic troubleshooting process to diagnose and fix ignition failure in your Navin tankless water heater. Step one, check the error code displayed on your unit. Note the specific code like E03 or 001, as this helps narrow down the potential causes of the ignition failure. Step two, verify your gas supply. Ensure the main gas valve is fully open and check that gas pressure is adequate. Look for any visible damage or leaks in the gas lines. Step three, clean the air filter and ensure proper ventilation. A dirty air filter can cause ignition problems, so remove and clean it thoroughly. Also check that all venting is clear of obstructions. Step four, inspect the ignition components. Check the igniter for damage or malfunction. This creates the spark needed to ignite the gas. Also examine the flame sensor for dirt or damage, as a faulty sensor can prevent the unit from staying lit. Step five, check all electrical connections. Look for loose or corroded connections and ensure the unit is properly grounded. Faulty electrical connections are a common cause of ignition failure. Step six, verify proper water flow. Check the inlet water filter for clogs and ensure water pressure is within the correct range. Poor water flow can prevent the unit from initiating the ignition sequence. Step seven, clean the condensate trap and inspect the burner. A clogged condensate trap can cause operational issues and dirt or damage on the burner can prevent proper ignition. Step eight, try resetting the unit by turning the power off for 30 seconds, then back on. If the problem persists after all these steps, Contact a qualified technician. Ignition issues can involve complex gas and electrical systems that require professional expertise.